here in Octagon, Switzerland. There's a pedophile case after pedophile case without end. And the perpetrators are always Swissies and never get punished for it. Therefore, for us immigrants, the Swiss people are people of child molesters or Schweizer Kinderficker with a very long tradition too, as they did until 1989 and massively raped the defenseless kids with the help of the Swiss corrupt Justice Department and the Swiss Nazi police. who kidnapped the children from their parents in a highly organized way to bring them to their rapists and they very well knew it. Why? Well, this is part of the Horus Matrix of the Sisters of Isis where the name Switzerland derives from in order to break certain souls who are too intelligent and too strong so they have to be broken to create obedient Swiss garden gnomes out of, out of them for set on the Egyptian Lord of Darkness with on being a pharaonic uh, adjective meaning in the function of. It said pedophile on the run here yeah, pedophile on the run. So this, this is only a few actual newspaper articles recently. It, it's really, it's too much. It's every day. It's, it's several cases like Swissies here on the run. They only talk about pedophiles only, you know, it's, 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 it's all the time. So I just show a couple of them. And just like drugs, pedophilia is wanted. And as I've shown you in this previous video, the Swiss police does nothing against it. And they always say that they don't have enough manpower and not enough laws. Because their aim is to have more of these creatures in uniform. So they can parasite on us and don't work and have total control over mankind. Thus using crime as a goal to achieve total control over mankind. Without police, we the people would solve the drugs and pedophile problem within 48 hours. But you don't want to go to prison, right? So, this was a teacher. He was giving the boys, uh, helping the boys with their, with their homework giving them beer and, well, you know, oh man, this country is so sick, it's so sick, these people are so incredibly sick. So, to enable more violence against children, and because Swiss police isn't doing anything anyway, a few years back, Swissy even officially made incest, incest legal. You can read it. Switzerland is considering a, a, a repeal its incest laws to make sexual relations between family members legal. Well, this is Switzerland, eh? We've got nothing better to do. It says... Uh, many uh, children, they were kidnapped from their families, as I told you, by the Swiss Nazi police, um, together with the Swiss uh, fascist justice department. They forced sterilizations upon them and, um, and they were abused. So, raped, child molested. So Switzerland has a very long tradition. And it's not only 700 victims, it's, it's hundreds of thousands over hundreds of years. It's, uh, it's incredible things going on here. And this is this, I showed her before, the, the Swiss justice minister. Very sly. You know how she calls it? Rape and pedophilia, she calls it forced welfare. 
Can you believe that? You know. So the Swiss Justice Minister Zomaruga officially called the rape on defenseless Swiss children slaves or the Verdinkinder. You can find it in the internet. She called it forced welfare. Well, can you believe that? Forced welfare. A typical Sisters of Isis using typical Swiss terminology for the foreign newspapers to make rape, slavery and pedophilia look harmless. Forced welfare. Well, you better not ask Swissy the name for childcare or the word for true love. You just wouldn't dare anymore, would you now? Yeah, you can read the whole article. So there was in uh, in Reuters. Here it says Reuters. And, uh, you know, to make Switzerland look clean and innocent, they call it forced welfare. They call rape and child molesting forced welfare. Can you believe that? It's always the same. Now here it says, this is the name of the children slaves. The Verdinkinder or contract children. Go and have a look, even in YouTube. And they never were paid, they never, they even stole their money, they, oh, it's total abuse. And the, the, uh, the children slaves were until 1989, and the, uh, the forced sterilizations, together with Dr. Mengele, he was there doing it all as well, it, it went on until 1996, almost into the 21st century. So this is Switzerland. It's a perfect dictatorship and the base of all evil. I showed it in my film Auschwitz Made in Switzerland how Dr. Mengele, he was there doing forced sterilizations, which, which was his, um, his speciality, uh, doing it on gypsies in Auschwitz and in Switzerland in the 50s and the 60s. He was here all the time. And for political reasons, Swissy only puts innocent immigrants in prison and lie things together to put you away. While we immigrants read case after case of Swiss perverts in the newspapers. So there he is. He's just free, no problem, you know. They want to put me in prison, you know, Sean Ross for filming a, a violent cop and all these pedophiles you know they they're like heroes in Switzerland the Swiss love pedophiles I tell you oh, what a horrible place here never has there been any immigrant Turk Muslim or Yugoslav doing this these abominable things anyway their own community would settle the score for good if they would it's all the time, it's Swissy, Swissy, Swissy. So I hear this guy, he was just writing books about child, child porn. Incredible. I mean, look at him. This, this, this is Swiss, you know. And the judges are into it, you know, the police is defending it. What, what a rotten place it is here. Just as Swiss child molesters can't be put in prison together with the immigrants, because real manhood won't tolerate this sick Swiss evil. But manhood has almost been forbidden in the Western world, like here in Switzerland, and Swissy as sick as can be. So here you can read about a Swiss pedophile and his, uh, his, he wrote a book about how he's, you know, doing it with children. You won't believe it. The book, it got financed by the, the town of Zurich, by the city council, by the, by the authorities. You know, <laughs> I told you the sisters of Isis, they want this, you know, to break people's souls. Uh, of, of, of children who, who might be too strong and uncontrollable, you know. So the, the town of Zurich, they finance his book. Can you believe it? This is Switzerland. 
They finance the book that pedophiles write. <laughs> Here's his book. You know, it shows a little girl here in bed. What does it say? They live and they... It says children can be can be hard. Oh man, this, I told you this country is so incredible sick. Yeah, here's another one. Uh, this guy here, uh, Remo, he had sex with the uh, with his daughter-in-law. She was only 12 years old. And so the Swiss made this incest laws, you know, so now they even could get married. Verheiratet here. So that means they are they are married. You know, incest and, uh, <laughs> you know, pedophilia, and now they're married. Can you believe that? I mean, I've been together with my wife for, for 15 years. No kinky stuff or anything, you know. And uh, we got three children, just normal, and we can't get married. Can you believe this? Uh, this is Switzerland, you know. It's all upside down. Because I'm an immigrant. Here's another one, Swissy, another pedophile. He even went all the way to Cambodia. This is here, Cambodia. Uh, here with all the children. Well, there's some more horrible pictures in there. I don't even want to show that. Well, this is normal in Switzerland, you know. Why well, Swiss, you know? So. And the sisters of Isis like that. So th these all these all recent things going on, you know. What's this? 2015. It's all 2015. If if I would show them all, I, you know, this would be a a 24 hours video or more. And problem is, Swissy never comes alone. They always come in packs, like police gangs, Nazi packs, government crooks. This is the real Swiss direct democracy, with their Swiss militia defending the pedophiles. And as sick as it gets. Swiss servants, Satan's seed.